Hello Weavers! Do you want to learn how to build your own brand workflow? One that would also generate social media assets? So this is the tutorial for you. I'll be happy to guide you through this pretty complex workflow. We'll go over it briefly and then we'll dive into details. Also, I would make it available for you to duplicate to your files and explore in depth. All right, so let's take a broad look at the end result here. We can see a few of the social media assets, um, different aspect ratios, same product, same background, same title, style, same logo. Of course, we could take it a step forward and use video models to animate. But for now, let's keep it at that. Social media posts at different aspect ratios. Now let's explore how it's done. Examining it from afar, we can see we're starting to build the brand in this area. We're having logos over here at the top, colors over here in the middle, some assets over here and titles over over here and at the end we combine them all for some social media posts let's examine it in some detail so we're starting out with some inputs brand name is one of them i've chosen lumera what's it all about it's a sunglasses store target audience prefers refined design over loud logos colors are black and white and there's an image reference for a style that i like so these are the user's input next step is the prompt concatenator the first input to the concatenator is something that says this is the user input and what is the brand name? Then the second input to the concatenator is the brand name itself. It goes on. Third is the business description. Then we have the business description. Target audience, we have the target audience. So we're getting a concatenated prompt with all the data. This goes into an LLM with instructions that says something like you're a brand gen pro, a senior brand identity designer and lots of specific instructions but what we're getting from this LLM is a huge list describing a brand so we have the brand name a premium eyewear offering timeless sunglasses target audience description logo concepts description color palettes options image description typography and next one would be concatenating with here is the brand visual description. This goes into different LLMs to parse the information. In the next step, we'll use another LLM to generate some prompts for logos. So you are a logo prompt builder. Using another LLM, we are generating prompts for the logo running through different models to get some variations of our logo, answering our brand guidelines. Underneath, we're using another LLM to generate some color palette options. Again, using the description that we got from the former LLM. Using more or less the same procedure, we generate some prompts for images suitable for our brand. And then we're using another LLM to generate some titles. In the next step, we're importing our real product, removing its background, using a compositor to put it side by side with my generated images and then asking GPT to switch between the glasses. It's doing amazing work. Now, after I'm happy with this result, I'm using a compositor to add the title and the logo that I've generated and then using Flux Context in order to generate some variations on aspect ratios. So this is the entire workflow. I think the interesting part will not be to use it as it is, but actually to dive into the prompts that are making the prompt to generate the logos, the colors, the images, the titles, etc., and making them your own. As I said before, I'm going to share this workflow with this video. I hope you will find it useful. And as always, please join us to our Discord to ask questions during our office hours or just in the help desk. See you soon.